I don't like it. it's so bright. I try to adjust it, but it's, it's just so bright. What are you doing? It's not oh. touch screen. Oh. <laughs> Usually on Wednesdays I'd be like, <coughs> but we have work off for a little bit because they're updating the software at um, the pharmacy I work at. So tonight, um, a pharmacy school, they have this program going on where they match you with another pharmacy student like a first or second year, I think a second year, and they're like your mentor, and they're having a mixer today, so um, I don't really know what that means or what we are gonna be doing, but, so yeah, after class, I don't know what I'm gonna do after class. Hey guys, so um, it's the next day from when I was last talking to you about the mixer it's the closest pharmacy school to me and it's one of my top choices so they have this thing where they match you with another pharmacy student and you get their phone number and everything it's cool so I've been asking my mentor a bunch of questions because I have interviews coming up I'll get to that next and I've talked to about three different pairs of students which is really cool because you can ask them questions that are fresh in their mind. Like if I ask the pharmacist questions about um, the material or interviews, they don't really remember because it, it was a while ago for them. But uh, these students help out a lot with some of the questions I had. And also, if you ask the same question for different people, you know, each person can be biased from their experience. So it was cool. Um, yeah, so just to get an update, I did submit my FarmCast application. I submitted it pretty late. Um, one of the schools, my priority schools had a deadline that didn't use FarmCast, so I submitted that early December, and, um, I didn't submit FarmCast until late. After Christmas, it was like the day after Christmas, I submitted it. It just took me a while because um, I think I was waiting on a letter, yeah. If you read on FarmCast's website, they say it takes about five weeks, up to five weeks to verify your application and submit it to schools, but I don't think it takes that long, especially if you're submitting later in the cycle because it's not as much they have to go through. I submitted my application on December 27th, but they didn't have one of my transcripts, which they can't start verifying your application until your transcripts are in. So my application didn't get looked at or wasn't complete until January 4th. And it got verified seven, six, no, eight days later on January 12th. So that's just one week to get verified, which was pretty fast. And... I've heard I heard back from one school the very next day. So it's been a week since my applications got sent out and some schools didn't start looking at it yet because they wanted supplementals and additional information. So so far I've heard back from four schools and I have interviews with four schools, but I think I'm gonna decline one of the schools already because I didn't think I was going to get that many responses for interviews. Initially I was going to just apply to two schools this cycle because I just thought it was crazy to apply to so many and people advise to don't apply to so many but with my stats I just thought that it's better to be safe. The schools I applied to were mostly for location. Either I knew someone who lived there or I'm familiar with the area. And I did apply to three top schools that I'm sure that I might not get in, but 
I just thought, why not? It's worth a shot. But okay, yeah, so I do have two interviews that are out of state where my best friend lives. The interviews I have is in state and it is with the school that I did the mixer with. So I kind of already have a feel of the vibes the students give. And I like it so far. Two of the schools that have invited me for interview gave me only one date. And then two of the other schools gave me like four dates to choose from. And you can actually reschedule. You can just log in and there's a there's a button that says reschedule too. So you can change around your schedule, which I prefer it that way. Because what if you get more invitations and you want to arrange them through priority? A thing that not maybe not every student knows is that once you get your acceptance you usually have about two weeks to put down a deposit to save your seat and a deposit what I see so far it's about a thousand and it's non-refundable so it's good to interview with your first choice school your first priority schools so that if you get an acceptance you can put deposit down there to accept your seat versus interviewing with your backup schools first and having to put down a deposit then getting an interview and getting accepted at your priority school and losing a grand of money that can go towards your first year of tuition oh so the deposit is for your first year of tuition so it's not a complete waste if you end up going there but it does reserve your seat so that's something I'm worried about that timing might not be right it's really hard too to be in the application cycle when you're going to school when you're working because I'm gonna be I'm gonna be missing a whole week of class because I set up my interview dates the ones that I could pick the dates I set them up around the day where they gave me an assigned day so I'm gonna be missing a whole week of school because one of the or two of the interviews they're they took up a whole day one interview is three hours from noon to three and the other interviews it's from 8 a.m to 2 p.m i already spent a good chunk of money on this application cycle i even i submitted um some like there was a school that i applied to on farmcast but i ended up not even submitting the supplemental because it's like a $70 fee I think I submitted about I submitted three supplementals so with farmcast if you don't know how the price ranges work the first school you pay for is like 150 155 around there dollars and every additional school is $55 so it can add up pretty quickly um, and not all schools but a but some schools do require you to submit a supplemental fee after, which is an additional application. It's just asking you more questions like why do you want to go to their school? Why should they choose you? Um, what kind of pharmacy field do you want to go into? And then it'll be like a 60 or $70 fee, additional fee. So that's a good chunk of money to apply to one school. I was planning to submit the supplemental after I heard back from other schools first and since I'm getting a good amount of interviews in response I think I'm just not gonna apply there anymore. I've been looking up interview questions on Student Doctor Network and just going over them and I've arranged mock interviews one with my boss because she's been a preceptor and another one with my pre-health advisor so I'll have practice too. I'm not too worried but I just like to be prepared and I'm just worried more about those ethical kind of questions like a common ones probably tell me a time you dealt with conflict and how you resolved it. Questions like that takes a good amount of time of thinking and I just want to have ideas in my head. I'm not gonna write something out word for word to be like okay if they ask me this I'm gonna say this but just have an idea so I'm not gonna be on the spot like that my upcoming interviews they will be in two weeks I could have scheduled two of them earlier but I just wanted to make them around the same time so deposits work out well and hearing a response but yeah I'll be interviewing in two weeks and I'll probably document my experience while I'm doing that too